okay you guys so i was literally like i was talking to god about this um elections right we're obviously moving into election week and so i was just sensing that there obviously could try to rig it and i was just like writing a post about no matter what happens no matter what we see this month if they try to rig the election or if some kind of state of emergency happens um, just to, you know, stand firm in our faith and to continue in prayer because whatever they have planned, I know that God has made it clear to me that he's going to turn it around for the good of those who love him. And he's going to allow them to fall in their own trap, in their own pits that they dig for others. They're going to fall into their trap. So right after I post that, for some reason, I go to my dream folder and I am led to the dream from October 6th of 2023. My husband had this dream and I knew it was very important and prophetically significant. And I started calling this dream the fall of the cabal. So this dream is basically all about the fall of the cabal coming or happening when Raphael arrives. Now, my husband's name is Raphael. So I knew that the name Raphael had prophetic significance in the dream. And, but I didn't tie it together until now, until now that I get on after I'm like, meditating on this dream rereading this dream about the fall of the cabal dream i had posted about it it's about 1984 it's about big brother um and so in the dream michael jordan breaks a television screen and this led me to the first 1984 apple commercial where a woman breaks big brother's television screen so this represents the cabal programming being broken by god michael jordan uh Jordan means flowing down and it refers to the Jordan River and Michael is of Hebrew origin and it means who is like God or gift from God. Okay. And I also talked about this, this whole play that's been going on in the heavenly bodies and the luminaries has been happening since the April 8th eclipse and has been playing out the story of Jonah defeating the sea monster or defeating Hades, the underworld, the belly of the well, the underworld of the sea so that the wealth of the riches could be released. The inheritance of the Lord could be released to God's heirs and how we are co-heirs with Christ. And we've been going over how God is using Perseus, which is a Christ-like character. Um, also, Perseus means soldier. So he's using his people, us. And he's also using Cyrus, uh, who is also a Perseus, um, being used to defeat the underworld, Hades, the demonic cabal, the uh, sea monster, so that the wealth of the wicked that is being held in the underbelly of the ocean of the waters can be released. And at the same time, Perseus is defeating the sea monster. He's defeating Medusa, the queen of the coast. Also, um, the sea monster is also tied to or likened to a uh, Leviathan and um, Medusa is likened to Jezebel. So Jezebel is going to fall. And I also talked about how Kamala Harris is in the constellation Andromedus and how Andromedus is a story about a princess who's being sacrificed to a sea monster. So all this storyline is going on in the heavens and we've been talking about this. The Lord's been talking about this to us. So he brings me back to this dream, this, this Michael Jordan dream, this fall of the cabal dream and Jordan means flowing down. It means, um, gift. I mean, Michael means who is like God gift from God and Jonah also means gift from God. Okay. So we see the correlation so clearly here. And in the dream, Michael Jordan breaks the television screen, um, Big Brother's Apple commercial television screen. And so essentially it's God showing that he is lifting the veil. Um, he is breaking the programming, um, the mind control off of the people. He's lifting the veil so that we can see the truth going on behind the screen. And we can come out the, the the collective as a whole the world can come out from under the smoke and mirrors and mind control of this evil cabal today we celebrate the first glorious anniversary of the information purification of angels we have created for the first time in all history a garden of pure ideology where each worker may bloom secure from the pests of a One resolve, one cause.
24th, Apple Computer will introduce Macintosh. And you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984. Now, in the dream, there is a preacher, and the preacher says, when we find Raphael, then you know it's here. It's the time. And then the preacher then asks, who is Raphael? And then Jose says... At the count of three, we should know the time is here. And then he put up three fingers, and you could see his hands were glowing. And Jose, the name Jose means Jehovah has increased and represents glory. And so I was just like blown away when I saw, like, there's no way that this is all a coincidence that I'm, I'm reading this dream. And I'm talking about, you know, the plots of the enemy to try to rig a result for this month, the uh, month of the elections. And how we've been talking about this whole play going down in the heavens about Perseus defeating the sea monster and how, uh, you know, Christ is defeating his enemies, Medusa and Hades and the underworld. And then I get I, I get onto Facebook and I see about this hurricane Raphael, like right after I'm reading this dream and I'm asking the Lord because I thought this dream was going to go down in January of 2024. And it and things have been playing out since then. There's been things that God has been doing. But I'm being brought back to this dream almost um, two years later. Almost uh, like a year and one month later. And now Hurricane Raphael is here. So I just and I know that we're going to have more water turbulence like there is a war happening in the spiritual realm with principalities over the seas but even in the natural we're seeing the manifestation of what is taking place in the spiritual realm with these principalities over the waters and how this is going to release this is the time when god will strike the cabal and will break their mind control off the people and um, bring inheritance and the wealth of the wicked into the hands of the righteous. I truly believe this is where we're going to see a huge shift and a huge victory for the soldiers of Christ, for the body of Christ. And remember, as Christ and as Jonah defeated the sea monster, defeated the underworld, defeated death in the grave, there was a great resurrection that took place. He is resurrecting us as his body in the earth and he's delivering humanity a gift from God to wake up and to repent and to see the truth and for the veil and the mind control of the cabal to break off. And remember what God said about this month? He told me that November, this is going to be a November to remember. Truly believe we're about to see some amazing things take place. But of course, it's never how we think it's going to play out in our minds, so just be ready and know what the end result is.